Well guys, it has been a dang minute. Turkey season is over with and it's like 90 degrees outside today. So we're going to spend a little time on the back porch talking about my favorite baits. But before we get into that, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. And if you don't care about baits and you already have your favorite kind of baits that you like to use, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, just skip to the very end of this video and figure out how to enter for a yet another giveaway. That's right. We're going to give away a few things. So make sure that you figure out how to enter into it. We're going to give away about two, three, maybe five things. I don't know. you have to stick around and find out. But before we get there, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of baits and what I like to use and why I like to use them. Okay, we're going to do this in one take. That's two. One take because... Why not? I gotta get better at doing this stuff anyway. So the first thing in my bait bag, I'm going to have not one, but two screwdrivers. And that's what I use to get the bait out. Some people use fork spoons. I use screwdrivers just in case I need to push it down in the hole. Whatever. That's what I use. Okay, we're gonna open this bad boy up. First thing we got right here is bait that I made. So I made this bait out of deer meat, a ground up deer meat. Uh, some of the scraps that was on deer meat that you deer that you don't use and uh, put a few little lures and stuff in there that I thought would work good. And I actually used it, and the only thing I've caught on this, st this stuff is bobcats. That's it, it's the only thing I've ever caught on it. So, I say this is a success. All right, the next thing, this is Peyton's Pretty Mouse. And this stuff, this stuff's pretty good. It's not a very loud, um, not a very loud bait. It's more so used in the summertime or like when it's still hot, you know, like the first month of trapping season here in North Carolina is November. So first month of November, it might be warm. And uh, this works pretty good because it's more of a sweet smell. Hey, Scout. It's more of a sweet smell than it is like a really skunky smell. But um, that works pretty good. And again, that's Peyton's Pretty Mouse. Peyton's Pretty Mouse. So let's see what we got next. Let's do baits first and then we'll get into lures later. That's lures. Um... Next, y'all already know what this is. I don't even have to tell y'all. My dog's having a fit with these baits right here. This is Caven's Hiawatha Valley. Hiawatha Valley, that stuff. If you've been around the channel for a little while, you know this stuff right here is the bomb, okay? This stuff, I love it. It's the, I use it more than anything else. It's a very skunky, kind of loud. It's not the loudest I've ever smelled, but it's, pretty, it's still a skunky and loud uh, bait to use. But I found out that anything cavens wise is freaking top notch good stuff. All right, what we got next? Some rubber gloves. Um, this is cavens again. This is Predator Bait Plus. Get a little closer for you. Predator Bait Plus. It's similar to the Hiawatha Valley, but not as loud. It's a little bit softer. Um, a little bit softer of a bait. I like to use that just to kind of keep the variance in my traps, then not all smelling the exact same. I know you got you guys hear me talk all the time, Hiawatha Valley and Gusto. That is a very deadly combination, and I love using it, but I'm not going to use that at every site. Like if I set three traps in a intersection, I'm not going to set every single one on the exact same way. I'm going to use some different things, and the Predator Bait Plus of Cavens works well when you're trying to do that. Um, so what we got next? This is actually Trapping Time Blackout. He's got a YouTube channel. I watched him for a little while when I was trying to learn some things. <clears throat> Found a few things that were interesting that I liked, but I wanted to use his baits. And, I mean, it's about gone, as you can see. So, it works pretty dang good. The Blackout time, blackout uh, bait is a very, very skunky lure. Um, it, or not lure, but bait. It's almost like a lure. Is that loud of a skunk smell. Um, let's see what else we got in here. This is Hoiser Trapper, Sup Trapper Supply Top Dog Predator Bait. This stuff is the bomb. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's not my favorite one from the Hoiser Trapper Supply, but it's really good. It's not a very, very loud uh, bait. However, it does have a good little potent smell, if that makes sense. Um, moving on to the next one. Up next, we have also Horser Trapper Supply. This is Top Dog Predator Bait Arctic. Instead of just being Top Dog Predator Bait, it's got the Arctic on the side, and there's a freaking reason behind this. This stuff stinks like nasty. Oh my God, it is just, it's potent, okay? It is stronger than anything else that I've just named off. This stuff is skunky, 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 and it will call them, like you don't even need to use the lure with this stuff. It is that loud. 
um, really good when it's really really cold. So um, basically, when you're when you're trapping the skunkier baits that really stink really work a lot better when it's really cold outside if it's not that cold outside use something a little bit softer not as loud it's not as like holy cow that stuff stinks don't use that when it's kind of warm um that's just what i've learned as trapping and you may already know that but i'm just kind of going over everything that i didn't know when i first started and i'm still not the greatest at it that's a fact um and that is all the baits that i have in here so yeah you don't need that many right there top dog top dog Cavens, Cavens, Trapping Time. Oh gosh, uh, what is this one? Peyton's Pretty Mouse, and then the bait that I made. There's also a Peyton's Dirty Mouse. That is a skunkier version of the Peyton's Pretty Mouse. Pretty Mouse is for like warmer weather. Dirty Mouse, I think it's called Dirty Mouse, um, is for colder weather. Um, and then I also had some stuff that worked really good that I ran out of this year is Predator Bait Plus. That stuff was amazing it's like a black jar with some red letters anywho moving on to the next one we're going actually we're going to lures now so let's get on with that all right for first off we're going to use Caven's Terminator um, it's a little small jar Caven's Terminator I bought this this year just to test it out it works okay um, didn't have the greatest success rate with it but for the most part it's, it's pretty pretty good um, like I said, I'm still testing it out. I didn't get to use it for maybe like a month of the trapping season. And uh, this trapping season sucked anyway. So, it was, a lot, really, it was a really, really warm trapping season this year. So, it made it a little bit more difficult to catch them. Um, and this bottle right here that does not have a wrapper on it is a big old bottle of Gusto. Caven's Gusto. And that stuff right there is really, really nasty. Really nasty. Like I said, you put the Kawatha Valley with a Gusto and a trap bed, it may take a day. It may take three days, but you will catch something in that trap. Um, so yeah, there is gusto. That stuff is always oh, my favorite, my favorite. And then we have Horse Trapper Supply Vixen Elixir. Um, I didn't use this a whole lot, as you can tell. It's not very much missing out of the bottle, um, so I really don't have much to say about this one. However, it does smell pretty good. Um, I think this was like a yeah it's like a it's more like a gland lure which i'm pretty sure that's what this is for or what this is i'm not really sure i seen it online i was like heck i'm gonna buy it and try it out you know um but it's more like a gland base is what it smells like um so we got next this is also a small bottle of gusto that i can throw away because it's empty um what we got next let's see here caven's canine force um i don't even think i used it yeah i didn't even use this this year so it's just Wow, I got it on my nose, and now I will smell that the rest of the day. Um, it's kind of sweet smelling, to be honest with you. It says for coyote, bobcat, and raccoon, which I can understand the raccoon, because um, that's really sweet smelling. Uh, so really, that'd probably be really good for um, when it's a little bit warmer outside instead of very cold. What else we got here? Caven's Minnesota Red. I use the red stuff whenever I have problems with traps getting dug up. Um, because most of the time when you're getting when something's getting dug up it is either a gray fox or red fox and like i said before everything in the trapping world i'm sorry i'm trying to keep an eye on my dog he's outside running around um everything in the trapping world literally hates a red fox i don't understand why but gray foxes hate red foxes coyotes hate them bobcats hate them everything hates a red fox so if i ever have problems getting something dig up dug up like a trap bed whatever it may be um and i can see the paw prints very pretty small it's small, not a coyote in other words. I will use that red uh, gland lure right there and put it into the on the side hole of the actual bait hole itself to kind of make the dog go, make the fox go from one hole to the next and then transition, move its feet so maybe it'll step on the trap. Um, let's see what we got here. What is this one? Yep, that one hadn't even been opened yet. As you can see, the blue tape's still on it. But this one is Mark June's Lures Windwalker. This is the nastiest stuff I have in my bag. Literally the nastiest stuff. I mean, seriously, wow. They call it Windwalker for a reason because you could open this thing 300 yards upwind and you would smell it as soon as the bottle cracked. All right, it's that bad. But it is a freaking money maker when it comes to trapping stuff. Um, it is worth, that bottle right there is worth 100 bucks. Like, seriously, it's that good. Moving on to the next one. 
This is also a wind walker. It just don't have the label on it. Um, what else we got in here? Come on. The little pockets on this bag are pretty nice to hold stuff, but it makes a pain in the butt to get these things out of here. All right, now we got Caven's Yodel Dog. This is some really, really good stuff, too. It's a gland lure, uh, made of coyote gland lure, and works really, really well when the peak of the breeding season happens on, like, scent post sets or, like, the flat sets um, that I use the three punch holes. So I do one, two, three, and then I put the trap down, bed it, and put grass clippings over top. This works really, really good during breeding seasons for that, for that setup. Uh, that's what I've learned. Uh, I'll use it occasionally in a dirt hole set, but usually it's flat sets is how I set, use that lure right there. Um, let's see here. <laughs> this is some good, good stuff. Tape's still on it because I got another jar in my bag. Um, this is lightning in a bottle made by Dunlap Lures. This stuff is really like Wind Walker. It's really, really skunky. And it, but fun fact, this green stuff right here that you see, the, like the color of it, it glows in the dark. Glows in the dark. Um, but I've had a lot of success with this stuff right here. It is really, really well when, it's, when the uh, temperature outside is very cold. It works really great. Um, next, another jar of the Yodel Dog, the Glen Lore I was telling you about. I use in flat sets. Um, what else we got here? Let's see, that is empty, no label. Here we go. What we got in this? In here, this is, I'm pretty sure. I know this is fox gland lure, but I don't know if it's red or gray fox. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. See, Sharpie works great on the lids. Um, red fox gland lure from, I bought this bottle. I don't know what they sell it, what the name brand is, but I bought it at um, Bass Pro Shop. I just know what this bottle looks like, and because it's the only red fox gland lure this bottle, this bottle shape that I have, but I bought it from Bass Pro Shop. And they have a very, very small section that, uh, Best Pro for trapping, and that was like the only thing they had. I needed something with a red fox because I didn't have anything, and all my stuff was getting ordered. Was well, still on the way to get here, so I bought that to make do. And um, it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest stuff they sell up there. Like the good stuff is in at Bass Pro. Like it's online. Go to a trapping website and order it from there. Uh, let's see. That is it. The only thing left in here is some coyote urine. I use this at every set, literally, unless I catch an animal there. If I've already caught a coyote at that uh, trapping or that uh, site or setup, whatever you want to call it, if I've already caught a coyote or any kind of animal, coyote, fox, dog, it don't matter, uh, bobcat, I'm not going to use any urine because urine is literally all, all over the whole area. It smells like a coyote right there, so I'm not worried about it. That right there works, uh, the, the urine works really good with um, scent post sets because uh, they like to mark things just like your male dogs when they go outside they'll hike their leg up on a tree or a bush or whatever and pee on it just to mark his territory and that is what coyotes do and that works really well with that and it's kind of like if it's not hungry it'll at least go up there and try to mark it and make it as his own which is the whole process of trapping coyotes they're literally like a dog they'll go take the bait out of there even if they got a mouthful of deer leg in their mouth they'll go get that bait out of that hole pick it up move it 10 foot dig a hole put it in there and mark it as their own and walk away with the deer leg so uh yeah okay last but not least and yes the camera moved because i didn't have this in my bag it goes in my bucket don't kill me on it uh this is red fox urine i don't use it a lot like i said does mean as you can tell it's not a lot used out of here um i don't use it a whole lot unless i have the dig ups like i was telling you or unless I've got three straps right next to each other, I don't want all of them having urine on it, uh, coyote urine on it. I was kind of mix it up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, that is that. That's everything in my bait bag. And I know I went through it really quick. I just didn't want to bore you with the 20 items on the table right now. You know what I mean? I didn't want to just sit here and go five minutes per bottle, which because that would take forever. And you're not going to watch that. You don't want. It. You just want to know what what I use. You know what's Isaac using his trap line and why. Um, but I will go ahead and do like a, out of the baits that I have, I'll do a top three, and then out of the lures I have, I'll do a top five. So, let's get to it. Y'all, I was literally about to start wrapping things up, and I looked over, and I forgot to open this one that has these other lures in, because I was sitting there looking for one of the lures I use all the time, I was like, where in the heck is it? And it's in this jar. So let's get back to that real quick. Um, Another bottle of Lightning in the Bottle by Dunlap Lures. You've just seen another bottle. Another, gosh, can't talk. A bottle that not, not had... Ugh. 
another bottle that had not yet been opened yet. There we go. There we go. That's how English sounds like. That's what English is supposed to sound like. I was about to brag there and I still couldn't get the words out. Anyway, Caven's Violator 7. This is a really good lure um, for winter time. It is a, also a very loud skunky lure. Um, as you can tell, a lot of the lures I have, except for maybe five, are all really loud lures. Um, skunky lures to use when it's cold, because most of the time it is cold in trapping season. Most of the time when I hit trapping season, it's hard during De I'm hard on trapping late in, later in December, January, and February. It's when I'm really active at trapping. November, not so much, because I'm still hunting deer. You know what I mean? Trying to get, get that big buck that everybody dreams about getting. Um, be a Violator 7 by Cavens. It's a really great lure and it kind of helps me keep a very uh, good selection of different lures to use within traps. If I, Like I said, if I put three or four sets in an intersection, I have multiple options to choose from. Um, and another one to add to that options is Dunlap Lures Hellfire. This is literally the exact same thing almost as the um, lightning in a bottle that is green, it's a goo, except this is red and it's a goo. This is Hellfire and that is lightning in a bottle, both made by Dunlap Lures and they smell very, very similar, like almost identical. Um, but I tried, I got, I got, I bought the Hellfire just to see if it was a little bit different so I got better success on it and it's about the same. Um, so I would recommend either one, getting one or two. You really don't need both of them, but uh, I just wanted to buy and try it out and I was really happy with with the Hellfire, but this is literally about the same thing as lightning in the bottle. And the last one and we got in here is Mark June's Lures Windwalker. You already seen this. This is the third bottle you've seen today. Um, so yeah, there's there's that. That is now completed all the lures that I have. So <laughs> glad we got that one out. Coming in first place is none other than Hiawatha Valley. You guys already guessed this was gonna be my first choice. This stuff is amazing. It has got the perfect of whatever they got in this Cavens bait is absolutely the best out there. This bait, it works great when it is cold outside and also works great when the temperatures are still a little bit on the warm side. So this is why this bait right here is hands down my number one pick when it comes to any bait that I'm gonna use. Coming in second place has to be no other than Caven's Predator Bait Plus. This bait is a very, very good bait to use uh, all year long. It works really well. It is more of a toned down version of what Hiawatha Valley is. It's not as skunky, so it's a little bit less of a loud bait. Um, well, it still works great though. It has the same success rate as the Hiawatha Valley from what I've uh, experienced in using it this past trapping season. Um, so really a, another great choice of a bait if you're looking to buy you know, buy some baits and stock up for the season. Coming in third place, but not a bad place to be, is the Top Dog Predator Bait Arctic. <clears throat> not the regular, the Arctic. And this bait is such a loud bait that I have to use, it has to be in the top three just because of that reason. It calls them out like a lure does and works as a multi-purpose bait. So you don't even have to put lure in the hole with, while using this bait because it's that loud of a skunky lure, uh, bait. Um, so that's the reason why it's in top three. Uh, still getting a little bit of experience using this bait, but so far, I absolutely love it. Coming in first place of my favorite lures to use during trapping season is none other than Caven's Gusto. This lure is absolutely phenomenal and is what I catch 80% of the animals that I'm after on every single year. This lure is hands down the best that I've ever used. I don't know what is all in it, I would love to know, but whatever they got going on at Cavens to make this lure, it is absolutely phenomenal, and that is the reason why it is my number one pick in my top lures. It is a very, very loud, skunky based lure, so it works very, very well when the uh, weather outside is getting very, very cold. Coming in second place of the lures is Mark June's lures, and this is the wind walker that they have. This lure is second place because it is such a strong call lure that literally, like I said, you could be 300 yards upwind, crack the seal, and you're instantly going to smell it. It is that strong, and that is why it is number two in my list because it has that strong call ability to draw in animals from a very long ways away. Coming in at number three is Lightning in a Bottle by Dunlap Lures. This one is number three because it is also a very great call lure and will also call them in from a very long distance. However, this one will stand up to the rain a little bit better because it is a more of a goo than it is 
and actual uh, glands ground up together so it's not as liquidy to begin with so when it rains this sticks around a little bit longer than the actual gland lure uh, gland, skunky gland lures do um, so for that reason it is a great number three in my list um, the glow in the dark it also does that just for a fun fact but I don't think it actually has anything to do with any of the animals getting caught Coming in fourth place on the lures is none other than Caven's Yodel Dog. This lure works really great in the breeding season and that is why it is my number four choice because that is the most time when I use it is when the animals are really keen in on that top peak breeding season just like using your deer estrus uh, urines when it's uh, peak of the rut in deer, deer season. So uh, for that reason that is my why that is my number fourth pick in my favorite lures. Last but not least in my favorite lures to use is going to be none other than Caven's Minnesota Red. The reason this is my t number fifth choice in my lures is because this really helps me out when I'm trying to catch that pesky fox that keeps coming back every night and digging my trap up. For whatever reason it triggers them to work the set a little bit harder when I push, punch an extra hole to the right of my original dirt hole. Uh, it works most of the nine times out of ten, so that is why this is my number five choice because it always gets rid of the pesky ones that I always figure out where my traps are at. Okay, let's get on to what you guys are really still here for to figure out how to win a bunch of free stuff. Okay, so in order to win the giveaway, you're going to have to go on to Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just how we're going to do it this time is through Instagram. Go on to Instagram and look up Carolina underscore coyote one nine nineteen. Um, search that and it'll be the emblem that you see in my uh, in my um, intro at the end with the state of North Carolina and it's got the coyote in the middle. It says Carolina coyote above it. Um, so that'll be the uh, the profile picture of the um, Instagram account. Anyway, click subscribe or subscribe, not subscribe. Yeah, you can do that too if you want to actually uh, subscribe, <laughs> but um, click the follow button on Instagram and then go on to the uh, picture that I'll have posted when this video goes up. It'll be a picture of all the baits that you just seen and comment um, what state you trap in and then also like a bait that you'd like me to use or a bait that you also seen in that group of stuff that I've done that you use as well. Um, or just, you know, just put your favorite bait that you like to use, not lure, just favorite bait. Um, and then, uh, or you can put both, I don't care, whichever one. But make sure you go follow the Instagram account, comment on there the state that you trap, and then your favorite bait or lure, or both. But you have to do those three things. So uh, follow, comment your state that you trap in, and then also comment your favorite bait or lure, either one. Um, and that'll get you entered to win, and I'll let it go, I'll let this one run for, I'll let this one run for three weeks. So after three weeks, I will make another video on who wins and I'll use a random selector. So don't think I'm trying to jinx it and just trying to send it to the shortest place. No, don't think that. I'm gonna use a random selector. So I'll put all your names in a little thing and it'll randomly select five people and I'm gonna give stuff to five people. So make sure you go like, not like, yeah, like the picture, go for it. Um, Not really, you don't have to do that. Make sure you follow on Instagram, comment your favorite lure or bait and then also the state you trap in those are the three guidelines you do those three things and you are automatically entered to win either uh, a bait or a lure while my arm is getting tired from holding this camera so we're going to set you right there okay yes now we got to crouch down but um yeah so anyway go on to instagram carolina underscore coyote you know what my own looks like that you see on the intro every time the video goes up um comment on there favorite state or not favorite state, favorite bait, favorite lure, um, either one, state you're from, this tra or the state you trap in, and then uh, follow. I made a cluster out of all that because I can't get things out of my head to flow right out of my mouth like it's supposed to. That's what happens when you get in front of a camera. Oh well, it's hot as crap outside, the mosquitoes are getting bad, so we're going to go inside and call it a day. Hope you have a good one, hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this stuff, Go ahead and let me know. I'm doing my very best to keep something on the channel, videos posted every week. Um, but it's just really hard because it's not trapping season, so I ain't got nothing to post, and it's hard to do stuff in the off season. It's a, it's a, it's a struggle for sure. But I'm trying my best. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like the video, comment something down below if you like the one of the baits that I put in there and that you use all the time, or a video, a bait that you didn't see in there that I should try. Throw it in the comments for me, guys. 
Uh, until next time, y'all take it easy, and we'll see you later.